Hey guys, this is Owen with Seek Outside, and today I want to show you how to set up the sunlight. All you're going to need to set up the sunlight is either two trekking poles or two of our carbon fiber trekking poles that we sell, um, the sunlight itself, and the included eight stakes. Thanks to the sunlight sewn in floor, it makes it super easy to pitch because there's no setback. Just pull it and go. So the first thing I'd like to do is get to my camp spot, make sure everything is where I want it to be, and then I'll lay the shelter out. Um, you're gonna wanna find the edges, so like the four stake points, and then just go ahead and pull everything out where you want it to be. I think I want my shelter right about here. And then it's super simple. All you're gonna do is take your stake. I'm using these twisted aluminum stakes we sell on our website just because super sandy conditions out here. But what you're gonna do, your stake in at 45 degree angle. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Find your parallel on this side and you're going to want to pull this seam tight this way um get that guy in there and a quick tip is i always like to leave a little bit of room for adjustment in the line lock when i'm doing this um, just in case i need a little bit more tension or a little bit less i'm going to get two more stakes come to the other side of the shelter and then I'm gonna pull this side pretty tight. doesn't need to be super tight, but pull it tight away from the other stake and have it in line with the other stake on the other side. And same thing for here, you're gonna pull at a 45 degree angle, um, which is gonna pull that floor nice and tight. Leave a little room in that line lock again and drive your stake in. Now that we have our footprint all set out, next thing to do is put the poles in. The sunlight pitches at about 50 inches. So if you're using our carbon fiber trekking poles, I start at the lowest hole and generally go up about a click. So what I'm gonna do is take my pole, I'm gonna find the top of my cone and put the top of the pole in there. And then I'm going to put it right next to the floor. Go ahead and take my stake. Thread it through the loop there. And just pull this fairly taunt. Drive my stake in. You're going to repeat that for the other side. The next step after we have both of our poles in is to get our floor attached to the pole. So what I like to do, even though you could thread this into the pole and pull tension there, what I like to do is wrap it through itself like this, and then you can tension it. And then you can do the same thing for the upper one. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and repeat that on both sides. Now that your shelter is set up, the last thing to do is tie out one of the two guy outs on either side. So we have an upper guy out, which I would recommend for people using this shelter solo. Um, usually with a redirect is gonna be the best. Or this lower guy out, this is meant to give headroom on either side for two people sleeping in here. Um, so we'll go ahead and guy that out right now. And unfortunately, because of our staking situation, I gotta pull it out to the side. But, Repeat that on the other side, and your sunlight is gonna be all set up. I hope you guys now know how to set up your Seek Outside sunlight out in the woods. If you guys have any other questions, drop them down in the comment section on this YouTube video, or go ahead and contact us at Seek Outside Customer Service. That's info at seekoutside.com, or give us a call. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.